welcome to another broadcast of Ponty TV. I'm joined today by Ponty's very own outside half, Di Flanagan. So Di, you first played for Ponty back in 2003, but since then you've spent some time away with the Blues and the Ospreys. So can you tell us how it came about that you've come back to play for Ponty here this season? It was uh, a bit of both really. Come uh, the end of last season I was out of contact with the Ospreys and then I had a couple of decisions to make whether you continue playing professional rugby, which in that case you probably would like to go over the bridge or do you come start playing for happiness and enjoyment and look more down the future. So obviously I made what I feel is the correct choice. I decided to go down the happy route, come back to where I enjoyed my rugby the most and settle in a job with a good long term outcome. Yeah. So obviously since rejoining the team last summer, you've quickly become a highly influential part of the team once again. You seem to settle in very quickly here at the club. Would you say that's down to Ponty being obviously essentially your home team? Yeah, I think uh, when I left the club to when I come back, not much has changed. It's the same people, same people running the place, same familiar faces as you drive through the car park. And it's a good family club built on real strong values and uh, a club like that, it's quite easy to settle in no matter what sort of person you are. You're adopted quickly by the fans, you're adopted by the people who run the bar, the supporters who greet you as soon as you come off the field and it's quite a comfortable place to play. Well, much easier to play wearing a Ponty shirt than not then. <laughs> so, like you said, you're pretty much part of the family here at Ponty, but you've got a family of your own now, a growing family actually. You've got your beautiful daughter, obviously keeping your hands full. Do you have a lot of support from your family when it comes to your rugby career? Yeah, I do, to be fair. They've always been there. For me, through thick and thin, obviously, as a professional player, you get your big ups and downs. You stress a lot about things, and without your family, you, you probably wouldn't survive as a professional player. But coming back here, there's no much better feeling than walking off the field and seeing your little daughter. I always make put 10 minutes aside to take her on the pitch to have that moment because you never know, I mean, I'll last forever. Playing doesn't last forever, so yeah. it's not sure to be a part of it. Yeah, wonderful. So having spent almost a decade, really, in the Ponty jersey, what would you say are your most memorable moments here at the club? There's a couple, really. The two cup finals were big before I left. Obviously, we lost the one where I missed the kick, but coming back the year after, we, we were fortunate to beat Neithu at the time. Neithu at the top of the game. But if you look through their team sheet, they have a lot of current internationals in there. Um, but it was a, unfortunately a good moment came against Ponty as well, I guess, because you always want to play against the team you left. And like even though I had a little affiliation with Tom Mao and Bridgend, it was nice to play against Ponty because the support you get from them when you're playing for them, you get it twice as hard when you're not playing for them. So it was nice to show that I can still play a bit and play well against them. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you're away. Simon Hamilton returned from injury last Saturday. Would you say that that brings an element of competition out to the number 10 jersey? I think so, yeah. Lewis is a very good player in his own right, but I think Simon's got further down the line of development and he was a stand-up player when he's fit. And uh, to be fair, when he came back Saturday and he played outstandingly well, he didn't make any mistakes on what I've seen. He's seen what was on, when it was on, and he won the game smoothly. So... Definitely creates competition. He's done enough to keep the shirt, especially for this weekend, unless they're coming up. And it's done to me now if I get, if I'm fortunate enough to get enough to get the jersey to keep it. So on that note, what would you say that your aspirations and your hopes are for this season, and obviously any future seasons to come with Ponty? Uh, obviously, you want to win as much as you can. Like that played a big part coming back to a club like Ponty. It's easy to go elsewhere, but with Ponty, there's ambition to win all three competitions. Yeah. For me personally, I've never won the league. The league's a big one for myself, but then the cup games against Welsh teams is a big one because you want to retain that cup, or you want to win it back, as it is from Ponty's case, and uh, the British Irish Cup has never been won by a Welsh team. Yeah. We're in a good position there, so there's no reason why we can't progress. Well, fingers crossed, and thank you very much for taking the time out to speak to us today, Di. Good luck. No problem, thank you. Thank you.